Hello to you all. Um, this is the normal distance I have with my Lima rolling stock. I've got a lot of this older Lima rolling stock because it's usually very cheap. Um, and it's, it's very reliable, really. It, it runs very good. However, what kind of distance is this? It's, um, well, something like two and a half centimeter, something like that. Um, that's over three meters in between wagons. Um, I hope the passengers won't have to jump this uh, distance. So, um, yeah, really, it's not too realistic. Um, most of my Lima wagons have this huge distance in between. So, um, I tried to solve that and I did a test. As you can see, um, the Lima couplings, the usual couplings, are at bogies. Um, and they are fixed at the bogies and you can't change them. And, um, well, let's see if uh, I thought if I could fix in between here a NEM uh, pocket then it could change for any coupling I want. However, um, that would make the distance even more if I use a regular coupling in that NEM pocket. Um, first problem and second problem, there's no place to get the, well, how should I call it, the tail of the coupling. Uh, it should come out of the NEM pocket. So um, there's no place for that. So um, quite a bit of a problem. Um, I want to put in a short coupling by Marklin. Um, I've done a review uh, about this recently on my channel. Um, so I just tried to glue it in and this is the result. So I have a short coupling now. Um, and what did I do? I used, uh, well, I cut off this one. I kept the hole, um, most of it, and in between I've put the coupling, uh, the tail of the coupling, I'm not sure what it's called, um, so this part, and cut off what I didn't need. Then I glued it in and put a plate of uh, cyan board up and down, uh, so it's, it's glued in totally. Or you could say. So the, the principle of Lima is kept, the couplings are on the bogies. I could of course try to get NEM pockets here, maybe that's the next test, I'm not sure. Um, but this is a very simple, very fast solution. Um, cutting off this, gluing in a coupling into the hole um, and just painting the sign board black. Well, it takes something like 10 minutes per wagon. So I've done it at one side now, second side not yet. Um, and I've done it with the other one here as well. So let's turn this around. And here's a short couple coupling as well. If I can get it on the rail service. Yeah. So they couple up like this. And they are a bit shorter. I wouldn't like to jump that distance. Maybe I could try to get them even closer, but I'm afraid they would do well cause some problems in in, uh, in curves. And I have got curves R1 and R2, so the very short ones. But um, yeah, it's a, it, it's quite a difference. I've got one and a half centimeter now instead of well two and a half or almost three centimeters so um well let's measure it really and compare so we have now one and a half as i said and it was a little bit more i have to loosen them so let's see what it was It was, as I said, well, two, almost two and a half centimeters. Yeah. So I've shortened the distance with one centimeter. 
Is it worth it? I'm not sure. Uh, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. Um, if I would use separate couplers not fixed on the bogies, I would probably be able to, to fix it closer. Um, that might be an excess. How does it run? Let's take a look um, at the layout. So here we are. Um, they are short coupled at the layout in Kujankino. Uh, as you know, there's short coupling only at the first side, um, um, well, in between those and not at this side. Uh, that's a regular coupling. Let's see how it runs. It does run. Uh, it got to the first curve. Um, well, it's a bit closer. It looks better, I think. Now the second curve is much more of a challenge, as you know. Uh, there's turned, curved turn notes, but it does run. Yeah, if the locomotive wants to run. This is an old Lima locomotive as well. Maybe I should maintain it again. Um, well, as you see, um, it runs. Is there a guarantee it won't derail? No. So if you want to do this, do it at your own risk. Uh, I'm not responsible if you ruin your rolling stock, please. Uh, but um, yeah, for me, it works. Um, it's a little bit better than uh, to have one and a half centimeter instead of two and a half centimeters. That one centimeter makes a bit of a visual difference. Um, I'm satisfied. Right. Uh, well, I have a lot of Lima rolling stock, I can go on for hours <laughs> like this. So uh, I have got more cutting and gluing to do then. Right, that's all for now, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.